Okay, so we have made it to the sort of end. Um, now I'm going to move on to the fun makeup and skincare section. I'm actually going to start with makeup instead since that one is a little bit less-ish. Um, so there's a hodgepodge of things. So I'm going to start with my trip to Daiso where I blacked out. Um, <laughs> and they actually have a wide variety of makeup and skincare from reputable brands. So a brand like UpQ makes cosmetics for them, Too Cool For School makes cosmetics for them. I'm sure this might not be news to you if you're on Instagram or TikTok, um, but that's what drew me to the Daiso section or the makeup section at Daiso. So starting with that, Got a couple of makeup products from the Tag brand, which is the Too Cool for School offshoot. And so this is the multi-shading Mono Cool number two. And so this one, I realized I maybe should have unboxed these before I started filming, but we're here now. So this was 5,000 won, so about $5, a little, definitely a little bit less than that. Definitely needed scissors for this. So this is a cool toned shading palette. So not a bronzer palette, but like a contour palette, but you definitely could use it for, for that. So it's a powder. It's got a light brown shade and then a slightly darker brown shade. So it's ashy brown. So I thought that was nice. And then I got the multi contour stick in number one, nude beige. So this one was 3001. So about three bucks. And you actually do get tax-free at Daiso as well, I think after a certain amount. So that's why I haven't unboxed anything or used anything. Ah! So this is the contour stick. So the idea was I wanted to use this for like nose contouring or like, you know, getting it really, really close to the jawline. Um, so there it is for you. Nice and easy. So those were the two tag products that I picked up. And then I also got a variety of lip products. This is the Kendrick Candy Color Balm, balm um, from Akyu. So yeah, this is the uh, 3000 won product. So there is like a lip tint, but then there is also a balm. I'm going to be gifting these actually so we'll not be opening them um but this is the color number two plum which the display shows was like their top pink color or whatever so these are i'm going to be gifting also from the lip section are these lip masks as well these are also i believe from up here or not, actually, I can't tell. I don't think so. Hmm. So these are a dupe for the Laneige lip masks, and this is also the berry flavor. It comes in packaging that looks like that, so it's like a little frosted plastic uh, situation. And there's also a little spatula that comes with it, showing that you can use it two ways, so there, and you can use it day or night. So again, I will be giving these out as gifts, so I will not be opening these for my own personal use. Um, maybe I should have picked them up for myself too. So while I'm in Korea, I also often go get contacts, and so I did stop by Olens to pick up some contact lenses. So this one is the French Shine in the Lavender, and these are also dailies as well. Um, so yeah, this is a 10 pack. This is the French Shine also in like a green, also a 10 pack. And then the Misty in like an ashy brown. The, this was a 20 pack. And there was a sale for them, so it was like buy one get one half off. So I got one of these half off, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so those were the contacts that I picked up at Olens. I wanted to go to Hapa Kristin as well. 
but I just ran out of time every day. And by the time that I had time to go, it was Chuseok and it was closed on that Tuesday, the 17th. So I did not end up going, um, but that's okay. I don't wear colored contacts that often anyway. So maybe it was for the best. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to, oh, eye products. So I did also pick up the Clio Kill Lash Superproof Mascara. This is a one plus one deal from Olive Young. So there's that because all of the mascaras that I have are definitely over three months old. So time to replace. And I've heard so many good things about the Clio one. So I thought I would pick that one up. And that is the only makeup product I got from no, that is not the only makeup product I got at Olive Young. Jesus Christ. Um, so I did also get the 3CE Face Blush. This one was recommended to me um, by my color analysis team. And so this is the shade Kinda Shy. And so I'm Soft Summer or Cool Mute Summer. Ooh, oh, this package is pretty. Oh, it's soft. Okay, got it. So here it is in packaging it's like a movie ashy bow so yeah that's fun looking forward to trying that out and then i also got this romand blush as well at their recommendation this is the better than cheek in number zero in n02 Vine Nude. Sorry, it was very difficult to read. So they're very similar colors, I think. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, let me put them side by side and compare. Kind of the same. This one's a little bit lighter, a little bit more pink. This one's a little bit more purple. So excited to give those a try. And then also with Romand, I'm trying to like see what section I can like go in and out of, but oh, anyway, we're, we're in the lip section now. Um, so I picked up the Romand Juicy Lasting Tint in number 25, Bear Grape. This is also recommended to me by my color analysis people. And they actually put it on me as one of the colors um, during my makeup tutorial, so. I really liked it and I was like, I want it. So it's definitely a color I, I do not have because I usually lean a bit more pink. I don't know if you can see that as well or not. It's fine, it's fine. But I like this color a lot. I will be certainly wearing it a lot more often. And then also while um, the same vein, more Roman lip tints. This is the Blur Fudge Tint in number seven, Cool Rose Up. So it's got this fun, soft matte packaging. It looks really dark. It's actually quite bright pink. So it's this one right here. So that one's fun. And then I also got the same line, but in the number 14, Unrose. And this one was also tried on me on the makeup tutorial with my color analysis, and I told her I really liked it, so she gave this recommendation to me. So it's this bottom one right here. And she definitely mixed it with the Bear Grape. So she put this one on as the base and then topped it with this color as well. So it was very pretty. Um, so these two, new lip color combo. Look. Now I think that was... <laughs> I got a lot of stuff, you guys. I... I'm losing my goddamn mind. Okay, so I did pick up makeup tools as well. So I got the Hydro Glow Sponges as a recommendation. So I got three packs of those. Hopefully I like them, because if I don't, I'll be sad. And then another smooth fixing sponge. I think this is for when you are trying to like, you've already got your makeup on, it's been a few hours and you want to like fix your stuff. 
And then this eye smudge brush, small kind of tip so that I can maybe start to do that smudge liner. And then the Philly Millie point piece lashes that already have glue on them. So hopefully these work out for me. I'm not a big lash person, but I liked the look. So I thought I would give these a try as well. And so the last makeup item that I have from Olive Young are these cushion compact colors. Covers, not colors. <laughs> uh, so they're a patch that's supposed to go on the compact side where you put your cushion puff um, to close your compact. This is to prevent bacteria from growing. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work. I've never tried it before. It says it prevents 99% of bacteria from growing on your puff, I think. Um, so we'll give that a try. There's two in each pack. So I got two packs for total four. That's how math works. Another spot that I went to was the Fui pop-up in Songsu. So I picked up the Blurry Pudding Pot in PK02 color skirt, and as well as the silicone lip brush here. I actually like the texture a lot more than I thought I would, despite it being from a pot. Uh, I'm not a big kind of like dip your finger in thing, but I kind of had to fall into the hype, so it's so cute. Ah! I definitely have touched a lot of packaging, so I do not want to touch this with unwashed hands, but that's it definitely comes up way more red in in the camera than it does um, in person. It's actually quite a muted pink, kind of mauvey, almost on its way to mauvey. So that's why I was really leaning into it. Um, and with your purchase, you do get the little keychain. It's so cute. Um, and I've got some other color. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> But it comes with a, you can choose another color actually. Oh, that is not a fun, oh, it's kind of messy. I thought they'd make it nicer looking, but that's that's fine. Um, so it's in the Movi family and you can choose whatever color you want actually. So it doesn't have to be the color that you purchased your item in which I find is really nice. So yeah, this was like a cute little keychain. Oh, it's definitely like in the family of, <laughs> of the Rowan uh, lip products that I had purchased. So good to know that I'm in the right vein of things, you know? Um, also while I was in Songsu, I went to the new Dayzeek Cafe pop-up as well. It's right across the street from actually the Dior store, which is probably why it was, so freaking busy. Like that store gave both me and my friend so much anxiety. <laughs> um, but I did do quite a bit of damage there because the event specials were so good. Um, so yeah, I will I will just get, get started. So they have the new Rose Milk Tea collection that they just launched. And so it was fully available in this store. It's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, this packaging, I am, I feel insane. I feel, I feel insane. It's stunning. And so it's definitely in my color family, which is probably why I was really excited about it. These definitely look like the two blushes that I just showed you, but maybe just slightly more pink. Um, so I'm very excited to give these a try. I don't remember how much this was. Yeah, I'll have to check the receipts if I even can find it. I don't know. And then they also have the Lux Glow Highlighter. This one is not part of the Milk Tea line, but I thought it was freaking pretty. And so I bought it. I don't have a pink highlighter. I usually don't wear pink highlighter. Um, but I thought it would be a fun color to wear to like concerts and stuff because it was so, so iridescent. Wait, if I can open it, my God. But it's also the design was pretty. <laughs> like it's giving me like the Too Faced heart blushes that they had a long time ago. Oh, she's so cute. So cute. 
like I don't even want to touch the embossing so again we'll not be touching this because I have not washed my hands but it's just got a really gorgeous pink iridescence to it with like a purple glitter um, so it's definitely very visible on the cheeks if you wear it I probably will not be wearing this to work um, but definitely for more like fun weekend vibes you know so that is the highlighter that I got and then I picked up some more glitter because I found out that the Chinese ones that I have um, are not, they either contain lead or did not just pass like you can sell in America things. So I don't know, that feels, that feels a little iffy. Um, <laughs> so this is the Daisy glitter liner. This color was, this is Starlet Jewel Liquid Glitter in the shade 05 Light Peach. So obviously it's got a peachy undertone. You probably cannot see it on the camera, but there it is. Super gorgeous. And then I got the same glitter liner in number four, Rose Quartz as well, because why not? I think they're actually quite similar <laughs> now that I look at it. Um, so the Rose Quartz one is the pink one on the bottom. So they're not dissimilar, but they're also not different. <laughs> Um, okie doke. And then for lip products, I, these are also from the Rose Milk Tea line. And like I said, they're very much in my color family with my cool, mute, summer, soft summer palette. Um, so I definitely had to get them. And so I got numbers 25, Earl Grey Rose, and number 26, Rose Black Tea. I don't want to break the packaging, it's so nice. Like it's this embossed, like it's giving Bridgerton like hello stunning freaking pretty and then this is the packaging the product itself okay i'm just gonna actually put on both of them and then show you because that might be easier Possibly. Okay, so this is number 25, Earl Grey Tea. And this is 26 right here. Don't remember the color name, but they're definitely not different from these. <laughs> but obviously they're a glossier tint versus the matte ones from Romand. So yeah, I'm quite satisfied with them. Oh. And because there there were a couple things, so with the pop-up, if you spent a certain amount of money, you could also get a um, get this little keychain. And they had different colors as well, but I went with the pearly pink. And then you could choose a little charm that goes with it. So I got this little purple peach. If it would focus, not on my face. There you go. <laughs> And then you could pick an eyeshadow to go inside of it. It is freaking adorable. I don't know in what universe I would need a single eyeshadow color um, on a keychain, but it's cute. <laughs> so <laughs> add it to the collection. Uh, but also if you were spending a certain t amount of money, you could also get a lucky scratch card that you like scratched at the counter and it gave you a prize essentially. And so my prize was an eyeshadow palette. So I received the Almond Vanilla 9 shade palette. Oh my God, it's so cute. I actually haven't even looked at this. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. <gasps> Ooh. So here it is. So it's got some matte shades, some shimmer shades, and some like baked glitters. Oh, that's so nice. <gasps> wow. So it looks like there's three, two matte shades, two baked shades, 
maybe three. One or two shimmers, and then like glitter, glitter. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. I really like them, but they're definitely warm toned and that is not the color tone that I am anymore. So I may actually save this to gift to someone instead. Because I don't need that many palettes. Um, Because I definitely will not use them. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, so yes, um, as grateful as I am for this gift, I will be saving this for to gift it to someone else. And then also with every purchase, you actually got a nail color as well. So this is the syrup nail color. Also did not check what color I got. This is number 13, Sweet Berry. Oh, how cute! Bright bubblegum pink. <laughs> Um, I do not do my own nails, so I will be gifting this to someone else as well. So, lucky them. So that was everything that I got at Daisy. So while I'm young, I also did stop by Etude House um, because I love their little like single glitters. Um, and I also wanted to pick up some additional like mascara bits and bobs. So I did go and grab this look at my eyes color in number G04 Cashmere. Um, it's kind of got a warm orange base and then gold glitter on it. Um, a lot of depth. I really loved it like at first watch. I was like, huh, this is the one. Cause I don't think they make the one that I have anymore. So, and I didn't see it. Big sad. Um, but this was a cute like little replacement or an addition to my Etude House eyeshadow collections. I feel like their single shadows are just some of the best I've ever used. So big fan of those. Um, in terms of other eye products, I did pick up the Dr. Mascara Fixer. So this is something to lock in your mascara after you've put on your mascara. Because I have really greasy skin and also just, I don't know, makeup or mascara just smudges on me so poorly. But I find that this definitely helps no matter what brand that I'm using. It definitely locks it into place and it does if I do it the right way and I let it sit, I let it set, it does a really solid job of ensuring that my mascara doesn't give me panda eyes at the end of the day. And you're supposed to mix it with the Curl Fix Mascara. That's kind of like the line that's supposed to go with. Um, again, I just need a new mascara because it's been a long time. So these two together, fire. Other eye products that I picked up are the Cute Eyes Maker. So this is the Ankyosar maker thing and so there is like a like a contour shade for like the 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 flap under your eyes the line under your eyes and then a kind of subtle glitter that you're supposed to put in the middle of it as well where your eyes are the most raised um to give it that youthful appearance i haven't done egg yosai makeup in a really long time <laughs> But then the color analysis lady did it on me and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of cute when it's like done the right way. So I'm back into my foray of doing a Gosar makeup. So here's that. Um, and then these two products are actually not for me. They are for my mom. Um, this is the Pung Pung Hair Shadow. So this is supposed to fill in any bare spots and you're like, oh, maybe you do need some too, Allison. <laughs> uh, but any dark shadow will do, but I thought my mom would enjoy the kitschiness of this and it is like a little, little compact like that. It has the puff at the bottom and then the coloring at the top. And so you'll just pat it into your hair and it's just a uh, extra makeup for, for your hair. And then my mom asked for a brow pencil, so I just picked her, picked up a kind of like warmish brown um, eyebrow pencil for her. It definitely was a little bit of a harder formula. I don't know if she likes that, so I hope she does. I don't know. Uh, but that that's what I got in a dude house. We are so close to being done with the makeup, I promise. Um, so I did also stop by this place called Himako, Hemako. 
um, over in Hongdae and they're known for having like smaller indie brands, specifically I believe Glow and AOU and Achi. So I picked up a couple of things. This one is from Glow and this is the concealer pot. Um, when I was getting my makeup done by both stylists, they had these pots of concealer. I was drunk. Yikes. Um, and so I was definitely intrigued by it and it helped, you know, definitely cover my blemishes. And so I thought, you know, maybe this balmy texture might be better than liquid concealer. So I got this to give it a try. Let me see if I can, here we go. So there's like a salmon shade on this side and then a kind of like lighter color. I don't know if it'll show, there we go. Yeah, so here's the salmon shade. I know that it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but there's definitely a difference in person. Um, so one is gonna be for your under eyes and then the other one is probably for spot concealing and it's in this convenient package. So I thought that was cute. This is actually quite expensive. I think it was like 30. I don't remember, but I remember it being quite a bit, I was a bit shocked at the price. I think it might have been actually $20, $30 or something like that. Um, so there is that. Um, AOU is apparently a very famous indie brand that's been going around known for their glowy tint balms. And they have obviously different colors, but I went with a very, I went with the peppermint because I use a kind of gel balm lip mask essentially at night because I get really, really dry lips. And I love peppermint uh, as a lip flavor. I don't really enjoy it as like a flavor flavor to eat. Um, I'm not a mint choco lover unless it is just ice cream. And if it's blue, even better. Um, but they had different colors as well. So, you know, I thought they were really nice, but they were $15 a pop and I wasn't really willing to <laughs> spend more than that um, than, than on one of them. So got that. And then lastly, I got this Achi, Achi, I can't, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but this is a blur tint. And as you can see, I'm really leaning into the mauve nudes per my color season. Um, it would open. It's got really pretty packaging though. Everything here was honestly quite a bit expensive, um, but they are indie brands, so I suppose that makes sense. It's got really, really solid, nice packaging. So it's like a thick, hefty plastic. Like it's definitely got weight to it, which is very nice. That's stunning. I love the texture. So I definitely wanted to pick that up. So really liked that. Um, also in Hongdae, I stopped by the tier tier store as well. And so I got refills of the red cushions, just the refill. So I don't have to buy a new con uh, compact every time, which I really appreciate because I don't know, for some reason they don't sell the refills on Amazon or anywhere that's kind of accessible. Um, so I definitely wanted to pick these up for myself. This came in so clutch. Like this formula in general, while I was in Asia, my makeup did not move. Regardless of how disgustingly sweaty I got, whether it was in China or, um, or Korea, my makeup did not move. Like if anything, the oils and the sweat made me look even better. <laughs> so um, maybe human climate is, is for me. Um, but these are repurchases, tried and true, and I love them. So definitely had to get quite a few of them. Um, and then for Chinese products, I really, like I said, did not get enough time to spend there looking at their makeup products, but I did pick up some other lip products. These are Vaseline peachy lip products. There's the pot version as well as the stick version. Um, we don't have this flavor in America, so I was like, give it to me. Uh, so <laughs> I got two of these and there was, I think I only, I stopped myself from getting more than one. Um, now I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I should have gotten more. Yeah. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. So that was all of the makeup that I got. Now on to skincare. <laughs> This is how long 
of my all of yum receipts <laughs> so okay to be very transparent the total that i had spent at all of young was four hundred forty two thousand four hundred and thirty thousand won so approximately if i remember correctly it was like 350 ish the day yeah i think that was the day that there was quite a high in the conversion rate thank god because <laughs> even my boyfriend at the register was like do you really need all that stuff and disclaimer, not all of this is for me. Like there have been asks from other people um, and like gifts and things. So not all of this is all of Young, so I will denote that as well. Um, but anywho, uh, I did want to start with the Korean pharmacy stuff because I did stop by Korean pharmacies relatively often um, in the vlogs that you will find out that I took a really nasty tumble on the escalators on one of the rainy days at the very beginning of the trip. I think this was like Thursday and I had arrived Tuesday night. So it was day like technically full day number two. Or was it even Wednesday? It's the day that I went to Songsu by myself. So I think that was, yeah, so that was Thursday and i'm still healing it still really hurts um I, I bruised my tailbone hopefully it's just a bruise and not a fracture I'll probably go see a doctor anywho regardless <laughs> Uh, I did get quite a few things from the Korean pharmacy and one of them is this bruise cream. So it's supposed to be for after procedures when you get like your nose done or something and there's going to be some bruising. So this is supposed to help with the bruising. Um, I got two of these to help with the bruising on my butt. <laughs> Uh, and it really actually helped a lot. Like this bruise was honestly the size of my hand. Um, it's still quite purple, but definitely a lot better than it was a week ago. So I feel like this certainly helped a lot. And this was a recommendation from my friend, um, Bianca. So she sent me towards this. Thank you, Jesus. Um, other skincare products, uh, this is going to be the Aquiline. So this is for acne reduction. I don't actually know what it does. The internet told me to get it, so I got it. Um, same with these two. So there's the Moscara and then the Acnon cream. So I will put on maybe the screen in the just screen the screen what these actually do uh but yeah these were i think around the thirteen thousand one mark maybe a little bit more expensive but for you know pharmaceutical level products that's not bad at all i did also pick up the pear acne cream which i which i believe was actually a japanese brand if i remember correctly um I was told that this was really great for acne spots as well, so that's why I picked it up. And then this melatonin cream, it's hyperpigmentation treatment. So I definitely have quite a lot of acne scarring on my cheeks, and so hopefully this will help with that. I am also starting Tret sometime soon, so I don't know if I will be even using these products. Um, stay tuned to find out. So those were all the things that I picked up at the Korean pharmacies. Um, oh, I did also get these cooling patches because they came in so, so clutch. This was so goddamn hot. Like I wore these, especially during my Hanbok photo shoot because you're under so much synthetic fabric. Um, it just was horrific. So I had like one on my back and then like one on my chest. Um, these are awesome. So if you're outside and it's really hot, highly recommend. Um, oh, Daiso picks. So Daiso is known for their makeup products, but also a very robust skincare section. And so I got these Sika toner pads and I actually started using them in Korea already. And I really like them. They are covered in serum. There's so, so many. Um, so you're normally just supposed to use them as as a toner or actually have them on areas where acne was quite present at the time and I definitely did notice that the inflammations had gone down so I really really 
like them thus far. Um, so you can use them as a mask or just as a toner a step. And this was only 5,000 won. Four bucks. Four bucks, guys, for this many pads. There is a hundred pads in here. Sickening. Um, ooh, masks. I was also told that these Vaseline masks are incredible, so I cleared out most of their stock. I did leave a handful left because I am not that kind of person. Um, I think I picked out one, two, four, six, eight, 12. So I'm gonna keep a couple for me and give them the rest out as gifts. So excited to give those a try. In the vein of masks, I guess I will continue. I got the, I'm really bad at this brand name, uh, num Numbuzin? Num Numbuzin? I don't know. Uh, the number three masks, even my mom was sending me like WeChat voice messages like, oh my God, like you have to get these, like they're always sold out, but see if you can get them. Um, but when I was there, they were very much in stock at like every Olive Young. I actually picked these up at the mask story in Myeongdong instead because the pricing was actually a lot better and um, the threshold for, I think tax, like immediate tax free was, was a little bit, um, was definitely very doable. So that's actually where I picked up all of these masks. <laughs> so I got five packs of these. Yay. And there's four in each. So four times five, that's 20. Math. And then I also picked up some BioDance collagen masks as well. Um, this was, let's see. There's four in each, there's three. So a total of 12 and they are 50,000 won. Ugh. For 49,500 won. So about $40, I want to say, for 12 So they are quite a bit more expensive, but they were definitely cheaper at the mask story than they were at All of Young. Um, so glad I got these. And then for other acne related items, these are my favorite acne pimple patches. So the COSRX ones, my. These are not my favorite. Actually, the. <laughs> The, oh my God, the Hero Cosmetics ones are, are are better, like the big strip ones. I feel like I've talked about them before, but those are my favorite. These are my second favorite. Um, so I had to pick up those. And then the best ones are the Next Care blemish patches as well. So I had to pick up a box of these. There's 136 of them, so I didn't get more than one box. That felt a little insane. Um, and then I did pick up some of these BioHeal Panthacel Repair Sika Micro Spot Patches. So it's got mini micro needles in the patch so that you can kind of essentially dig into the skin and get those really deep under the skin spots to come up to the surface and heal them. In some cases, when I have these on and it's a deep under the skin, uh, acne spot it doesn't even come up to the surface it just gets rid of it itself um so i've never tried this brand before i was really intrigued by it and so i just got the set and i think they were yeah they're nine plus three so there's 12 in each box which is cool um other random items it's this <laughs> powder puff girl super cooling powder sheet so my friend recommended this to me and it's like if you're if you're sweating um and you feel kind of icky but you don't have time to like fully shower this is supposedly really good for that um kind of in the same vein as like the cooling patches here these are actually picked up at a gs25 i'm pretty sure um this one this mujige mansion mirror oil paper situation i was stockholmed into buying this or i was influenced it was all over my korean twitter <laughs> um and it's this really cute compact for your like oil picking up patches things so yeah ah, and i dropped it all great i'm so great oh jeez one day I'll get better at this YouTuber thing, just not today. But I thought the packaging was really cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why I was I was influenced to pick it up. So that was the immediate skincare stuff. More to come. We are so close to the end. I'm trying to beat the sun going down. 
why did in the few weeks that I was gone, I feel like the sun has gone down a lot faster. Anywho, okay. So, um, most of these are all of Young, and for the ones that are not, I will let you know. Starting with tier tier, I got uh, a few things. One is the Hydro Boost Enzyme Powder Wash. Um, I've never tried an enzyme like powder cleanser before. I heard good things about this one, so I wanted to give this one a shot. I did also pick up the Moisturizing uh, Soothing Milk Skin Toner in the light version just because I do have oily skin and I was told that this light version is actually better um, because I don't need that much moisture. <laughs> and then lastly, the SOS Serum here. This apparently is kind of like a holy grail like buffet serum, so these are the skincare products that I got. And they're all very reasonably priced and the tier tier um, pop up in and they was super cute and all of the sales associates were very very nice um okay so keep moving on and then so i've got some skincare this is these are the rest of these are going to be from olive young and so i've got the beauty of joseon sunscreens this is a two-pack set which is awesome and then the round lab sunscreen set as well so there's a full-size version and a smaller kind of travel size so i've never tried the round lab version before so i'm really excited to give this one a try hopefully it works well for me for cleansers i did pick up the manyo pure cleansing oil i always use a cleansing oil as my first step again i've never used this before so really excited to give this one a try and then after an oil cleanser, I will go in with a foam cleanser of some kind. So this is the Round Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Cleanser Set. So there's a big one and a travel size. Love the plus. And then after cleansing, when I get out of the shower, I will hit myself with the hypochlorous acid as of recently, which I think is really a great first step. And then I will go in with a toner. I heard a lot of good things about these toner pads. Um, these are from MediHeal. And this is the two pack with the massa, oh God, I'm really bad at this word. Maticasicide. <laughs> so it's for day and night use as well. So you can, you know, I've seen people use them as like kind of like a quick sheet mask almost before putting on makeup um, so that their skin is well prepared and hydrated um, but also just as toners so there is 200 pads in total and like the Sika pads I feel like those have been really working really well for me I was on toner pads got quite a few year number of years ago and I kind of fell off of them so excited that they are back um, Let's see, other toner. I don't even think this is a toner necessarily, but this is the Ilso Super Melting Sebum Softener. And so I thought this would be a really good cleansing step for me to unclog some of my sebaceous filaments. Um, I will have to double check which step this needs to be, but I feel, I feel like it makes sense both pre-cleansing and after, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then mists are all the rage at the moment. So I have this Astra, Astra Edo Barrier Cream Mist. So this seemed like a pharmaceutical brand of some kind. It was a little bit more expensive, but it seemed interesting. So I wanted to give it a shot. And then I've been hearing a lot of good things about Tiaoba. Um, so I got their first spray serum and this is the biface uh, one where you have to like shake it so it's got a double layer of um, enriched double layer serum enriched with white truffle from Italy so yeah we'll see how this goes for serums I picked up only two so this is the uh, skin 100 jeez Skin 1004 or Skin Tonza, um, the Madagascar Centella Ampoule. I've also been seeing this everywhere and with my acne prone skin, Centella would be great. So I picked this one up. And then I got the Num... 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 Oh my God, I hate this brand's name. Numbuzin? Num... <laughs> Number three serum. This is a skin softening serum. Um, yeah, I feel like it would go well with the mask that I got, so that's kind of why I picked it up. This one I believe I got with the mask story as well, just because I was like, well, I'm already there, and it was cheaper, so that's why I picked it up. 
Um, finishing off with some moisturizer. So it's been a long time since I picked up this product, but I am back on the Belief um, Aqua Bomb. So this is a gel moisturizer and it comes with the, oh, so it's got the essence as well. There's a sample of it. So small size. Um, haven't used it in a while. Don't know if the formula has changed, but excited to give this a shot again. And then I also picked up the Toradin Soothing Cream. I also heard a lot of good things about this one and I hadn't tried it before, so this seemed like a good opportunity. Um, and then moving to hair care. Picked up two of these. So this is the Labo H Scalp Skin Lab. This green version, I believe, has probiotics that is meant to um, kind of cleanse the scalp. This is a hair loss care shampoo. Oh my god, I forgot what this place at. But anyway, got this one. It's huge. Um, and then this is the blue version. So this is also a hair care loss. I forget which is which. So they both have probiotics. I swear I can read. Um, but one is supposed to be helping with your oily scalp. And so you're not supposed to use them day after day you're supposed to switch out i believe the two different formulas so that your, your scalp doesn't get overly dry um and stripped of all of its oils it's just to keep it clean clean so those were the two shampoos that i got and then i also picked up the you know silk oil essence because i've got some really gross dry ends so and i heard this brand was good but i didn't want to get the the shampoo and conditioner when i also got the lava h ones so that is it for hair care. Um, rounding out my all of young haul is this Foodology cutting jellies. Um, these are appetite suppressants if I read the label correctly. Um, so young from Sonoshi Day is their spokesperson and so I thought I would give it a try. I don't know how well that's gonna go. Uh, oh, I do have Korean fashion items as well, but I want to save that for a separate video just because I'm trying to like really lean into like the mid-size experience and like talking more, a little bit more about my color analysis situation. So I did want to make that a separate video at some other time, probably following this one as well, just to kind of keep it in, in the same vein, but also Editing these types of videos is definitely a lot easier than editing vlog content. Um, so between now and vlog content, this is just gonna fill the void a little bit. Um, but anyway, thank you again for watching my extremely long video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, family, I don't know. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!